All right, everyone. So this is a video I'm recording about how to use XBMC on your new nl 3 d Android box. So you've got your box connected to the internet. You've got everything ready to go. You've done your speed test. Your speed is good. And then you get onto XBMC and you see a screen like this or similar. This is your main XBMC screen. So excuse the wobbliness. I'm one handing this. So just an example of some of the things the box can do. You're going to go down to add ons here. And you're going to see a list either like this or at the top. We can view it very differently. You might see one that looks like this. These are all different sources that your Android box has on it where you can watch different shows and different things. So you should see something very similar to this. Uh, I'm just going to give you an example of some of the things that some of these items can do. So uh, in Canada, a lot of the things I get asked for is Canadian TV, CHCH, uh, CP24, etc. cetera. Uh, so on here on this Canadian app, you can see right here, we have CHCH Hamilton uh, and you just click on it and it streams or over here we have CP24. So we'll give it a click. And while it's clicking, you'll see working. And right away you get a great live feed on everything that's going on on CP24. So what we're going to do is on our keyboard, we're going to move our finger. We're going to come down here to stop. We're going to right click. It's just like a computer. And then you're back to your previous screen. So uh, lots of things on the Canadian. There's also a TSN, etc. cetera. Uh, one of my favorite things to use is over here. It's the cartoon two. It's got a picture of Tom and Jerry and the number two in it. And we're going to go down to movies and TV. And it's actually not a kid's channel. It's an adult channel. Um, and it, as you'll see in the corner here, it's working. Now I've been bouncing in and out of a bunch of sites because I'm trying to show a bunch. So mine will be a little bit slower. So just an idea in the top 250 here at the top, it's going to give you a bunch of movies that are classics, Shawshank Redemption, Godfather, et cetera, et cetera, Pulp Fiction. So there's lots of good things on that. You just select them and they'll play for you. And then back here, we're going to press back on a remote. Movies, TV, sorry about that, I went too far back. And in the main screen here, you're going to see a whole list of TV shows. Um, it'll pop up in just a second. And all you have to do for those shows is you just pick what you wanna watch. So let's say uh, you wanna watch Breaking Bad or anything. You wanna watch Arrested Development. So you're gonna click on Arrested Development. It's gonna say working. And this is every season and every episode. So you can say season one, episode one, et cetera, et cetera. So you just go down to one, you click on it. And as simple as that, 360 or 720p, I tend to like 720, it's up to you. I don't really notice a huge difference and it'll just start playing. Don't have to find a feed and there's so much stuff on there. Um, also at the bottom of that, you'll find that there's a bunch of movies. So if we go back out of here, Uh, if you go up as opposed to going down, you're going to see a whole list of new movies, old movies. There's tons of cool stuff on there. So that's cartoon two. Then I'm going to show you down here. This is a new one that I just, uh, I just updated my box and it's on there. It's called BBTS and it's got some cool stuff on it. Um, I went to, what did I go to? I went to, was it kids? I think I went to world. Sorry. And it gives you different countries. So if you go to Canada, you're going to get your regular CP24, all that kind of stuff. I don't usually watch it in here um, as this is new to me. But if you go down, you can watch TV from all over the country. Clearly, if you go to the USA or UK, you're going to get tons of good stuff. But for example, go to USA and then uh, people have been asking me about all sorts of different channels. These are all live streams. I'm going to say at least 90% of them work, but let's say like H-A-L-N. So I just click on it. It's going to say working in the corner here. And then same thing as the other one. It's just going to start playing. So live feed, good quality TV, everything's ready to go. So I'm going to take my arrow and come out of this and stop it. And so that is that. There's also some stuff under UK. Please feel free to use it, try it out, see what's on there. Uh, lots of different channels to stream from. Go to kids, go to documentary. You have to explore on this stuff because there's so much good stuff on here. Cartoon HD 1 is really good for kids movies. 
Um, also, I'm going to, there's lots of other stuff, CBS News, uh, Food Network here. A lot of people like to watch the Food Network, they miss it, they don't want to search. So if you click on this, all sorts of Food Network shows, uh, Chopped, Cupcake Wars, etc, etc. Just click on them, full seasons on there. So, uh, here, Film On and FTV are actually pretty similar. Um, they're also live feed channels. So when you click on film on, if you ever see film on in the corner of something, you're going to get a good feed. So uh, UK live TV is really good for different things as well. They do offer a lot of stuff in the UK that we don't have here in Canada. Uh, they have a station called uh, CBC Reality, I think it's called. And it's pretty cool. There we go. And it's all um, reality TV all the time. So I don't know. I'm a huge reality buff but it'll just open on its own and it'll just start playing a live feed. There's also at the bottom of this, uh, you'll see, sorry, there's an example. We're gonna exit out of here. So also on the bottom of this, you're gonna see things like this, ITV1, ITV2, ITV3. These are all channels that we don't have here, but they're different things that you'll recognize. So you might see the view on them or you might see shows that we like a lot, but that's how they play them in the UK. Also something cool that my husband's a big fan of, a uh, documentary channel here. It's really, really cool for guys who like war stuff. So he, my husband's a huge history channel guy. Um, so just if we click on the war channel, for example, It'll just open up and it's all war stuff all the time, all history. Uh, so he absolutely loves it. This is what he watches when I'm not around because I don't like this kind of stuff. But same thing, it'll just think in the corner there, it's working, and then it'll just play just like that. And it'll be a whole show on whatever you're looking for. So we'll go over here and exit out of here. Um. But once again, I said, feel free to explore. Keep going down. Middle Eastern TV, French, German, Italian, Russian, tons of different stuff. Uh, so look around, see what you're looking for, and it will be on there. There is certain things I have a hard time finding. I do have a hard time finding TLC. I do have a hard time finding Disney Junior, but any of the shows that are on Disney Junior, I can always find. The staple of this box in my life is Genesis. I absolutely love Genesis. It is where I go for all my movies and TV shows when I'm searching for things. So uh, let's say you want to watch a movie. You don't know what you want to watch. You want to watch something relatively new. There's all sorts of ways to do it. Genre, box office. Uh, I like in theaters because it's got some really, really new ones. Um, if you go to a movie that's really new, it's probably going to be a cam job for the first week or two. But if you go beyond a week or two, it's going to be a great copy. The worst that will happen is you'll have, you know, maybe some Asian subtitles or something like that. But still, great, great stuff. Something I just found today uh, is, for example, the Justin Bieber roast. It's even on there. You can see there's some UFC fights on there. There's Frozen. There's some really cool stuff that's hard to get. Um, and it's all on here. So the box is just working to open the Justin Bieber roast. Now something different. So Genesis is a little old school. So what you do have to do is you have to find a good stream. So what you'll see on here is HD, HD, MQ, MQ. So these mean HD is high definition. MQ is medium quality. So what you do is you look for high quality. So down here you can see Griff Toast, HQ, that's high quality. Griff Toast to me, um, I rely on it. It's a really good stream. There's one called VBOX, there's one called Oro. Uh, they're all really, really good streams. So you just click on that and it'll load and it'll open, you know, the Justin Bieber roast. It will open uh, whatever movie you wanna see. It's got tons and tons of stuff. So you don't have to go on there knowing what you want. The Comedy Central roast of Justin Bieber is brought to If you do go on there knowing what you want, even better, you can just search it and it'll pull it right up. Uh, there's so much stuff that you wouldn't even think about that's on there that just would blow your mind. I went to search Wizard of Oz for my daughter and there was 18 different Wizards of Oz, Muppets and all sorts of good stuff. 
So uh, Genesis is also really good for TV shows. If you want to watch anything on TV that you want to search, it's the, it's the way to do it. So uh, same idea as this. You're just going to go to TV shows here. Sorry. And you're going to go to search and just type in whatever you want. Oh, sorry. I went too far back and it will find it for you. Uh, go TV and go movies. You can see go movies over there and go TV down here. Really good as well for searching for shows that you can't find. Movies HD. I really like for Disney type movies, um, for my daughter, as well as new movies. You don't have to find a stream for them. So, uh, for example, Disney magic, I can go on there, a whole bunch of Disney movies, finding Nemo, big hero six, same thing. They just open up and she's ready to go on that. Um, as well, uh, you can go to Featured, which will show you brand new movies. And once again, it just kind of opens right up. These are 99% not going to be cam jobs. Uh, so say you want to watch Interstellar, you just click on it and it's going to uh, just open up and start playing, which is great. Uh, you don't have to find a good source. It finds the best source for you. So once again, it's just working in the corner, it's finding it, and it's just gonna start playing. Something else I'm just gonna show you as well. You can take your mouse and see here. So I'm gonna take it, say I stopped watching it last night halfway, I can double click here and it'll boot it up right into the movie. So that's 26 minutes in, so I don't have to wait. It'll just catch itself up, which is awesome. So I'm gonna come down here. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to touch on was uh there's movies hd movies for me is good navi is good phoenix i really really like it's really good for live streaming as well um when you open it up you'll see all sorts of different sources on there uh and different things phoenix there it'll give you a bunch of live streams her place it'll give you a bunch of movies like mean girls and all sorts of good stuff I don't want to go too far on it, but once again, explore on it, find the good things, CBS, all that. Project Free TV is great because it'll tell you if it's a good quality stream, medium quality stream. Uh, Showbox, you'll see there. Showbox is where you will find your pornography. So if you have children, you might want to remove that. And the last thing I'm going to show you here is Sports Devil, which is what I get asked for for a lot of husbands. So you're going to hit OK on Live Sports. And what it's going to do here is it's going to give you um, a whole bunch of sources. So at the TV net, I use that one a lot or first row sports. I use it a lot, but you can always find everything that you're looking for. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to open at tv.net. And then, so let's say there's a game particularly, let's say, uh, I don't know. It's got a whole bunch of different things on here. Um, Let's say there's a game that my husband wants to watch, the Hurricane Sabres game. I haven't tried this out yet, so I'm hoping it'll work right away for you. But it, it'll open it up and it might give you a source to choose from. Otherwise, it'll just start playing it for you. So I clicked on it. It says play in the corner. And there is the Sabres game. You cannot fast forward or, or pause it. It's a live stream, but it will show you the hockey game. So that's pretty much uh, the important things. Like I said, there's so, so much on here to cover, um, but those are some of the things that'll really, really help you go through and, and find what you're looking for. Uh, I should, V-Dub is great as well. It's got TSN, it's got all that stuff on there, uh, especially if you go to Canada Sports here. Any sports TV you can get, in the States, Canada, you can get here. So, you know, your husband, you want to watch TSN, you just click on it and there it is, TSN. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I, if you have any questions, let me know. If you don't have all this on your box, there's always updates available and it takes no time. So if you have any questions, uh, shoot me a message. Thanks, hope you enjoyed.